All right, guys, so in this video, I want to share a creme brulee speed comp that you guys can try, especially if you guys are having parfait die in the team that I shared with you guys last time. So this is actually going to be a comp that was suggested by Mimis on the comment section of that particular video. Of course, I don't have the exact same topping that the, you know, the user has used, but I'm going to give you guys my suggestion here and uh, see how that works out for you guys, especially again, if you guys have parfait or, you know, like fettuccine that comp just doesn't work out very well for you guys so it is going to be with burnt cheese hollow berry as well as madeline with cranberry and our snapdragon which makes it a total of triple dps uh slash speed comp that we have gotten all right so here we go let's go over the topping real quick here guys and it is going to be five of the swift chocolate for our hollow berry of course hollow berry is going to need to go and use the skill as soon as possible in order for you to try and soak up the damage that cranberry is supposed to take all right so we do have the swift chocolate focusing on the damage resist as well as the cooldown cooldown i would recommend it at least plus 20 percent if possible and then uh if you guys could get it up to like 24 percent absolutely wonderful all right and the next one is going to be our burnt cheese burnt cheese is using five of the solid almond because of the fact that we do have you know creme brulee being the highest attacking cookie in our team you want to have burnt cheese also take some of the damage from creme brulee allowing uh you know that damage focus to be on and then also the debuff immunity so we have the damage resist as well as the cooldown here and the cooldown around seven to nine percent it would be the optimal in my opinion next one is going to be our madeline madeline is going to be our second damage dealer with five of the searing raspberry and we do have damage resist as well as the attack speed here and some extra attack and of course uh you know you do want to have madeline cookies magic candy preferably plus 10 in order to give extra damage to both of them as well and the next one is going to cram brulee cram brulee has five of the same raspberry because we do have two cookies that are taking and soaking up the damage for our cram brulee it is going to be uh be a lot easier for you know him to survive we do focus on the attack as well as the damage resist and then the attack speed if possible because of course uh you do want to use the enchanted robe buff on both madeline as well as current belay and the last one is going to be our snapdragon with five of the swift chocolate here and then we are focusing on that cooldown at least 24 percent if possible and then um you know we have the rest of the uh substats like attack crit and attack speed all right and again we do have the uh scroll as well as the enchanted rope and the jelly watch and because we have debuff immunity on our cram brulee and madeline also has a debuff immunity once he uses a skill these two cookies should most of the time be able to you know uh not get debuffed at all unless you are versing one particular cookie i'm going to talk about that later on but here we go guys let's go into the arena this is on joy rules account and we are on hollowberry server so let's see it all right guys so first battle here is going to be against the uh crimson coral as well as black pearl golden cheese right over here and a lot of the times you know golden cheese is the one to kind of kill off your parfait who is your debuff immunity as well as second healer uh so here we go now this time around we have two cookies to soak up for creme brulee all right here we go guys so uh you can be able to see there right hollowberry uses skill we have the damage focus and we have madeline this time around so in the first uh, skill rotation, there's a high chance that Madeline will be the one to take Golden Cook uh, golden Cheese Cookies shot. The reason why is because of the distance. All right, distance between Golden Cheese as well as your Cran Brulee. Usually your Cran Brulee uh, is going to be the highest attacking cookie. However, because of the distance, all right, there is a chance that Madeline will be the one to take the first shot, which is really good for us because, you know, that allows your Madeline to soak up the first initial hit rather than Cran Brulee. And after that one minute mark, you know, it's kind of a really, really clean, uh, you know, sweep. And you guys can see right there, Cran Brulee, 9 million damage coming out as a 4-star promotion against, you know, Black Pearl with level 17, uh, Crystal Jam, and Golden Cheese at 2-star. Um, so definitely very, very strong here. And I think Mimis uh, shared a really, really solid comp, especially if you guys have, uh, you know, times when as a free-to-play player like you know your parfait is just not surviving uh because either you're lacking you know uh you, because you're lacking toppings or you know substat or just promotion and ascension in general all right guys so here we go guys this is one of the comps that i would say you might want to stay away from and that is going to be a comp with stardust so we're going to uh, burst it early on here uh but it is going to be with stardust because stardust has a chance of getting rid of that you know buff and then cause the uh sign of the star which prevents any buffs from taking place and that is going to be doubled uh with debuff or the buff removal from golden cheese as well so here we go guys let's see how this one works uh they do have a level eight jelly watch so we 
most likely can win, but let's see. All right, guys, so here we go. And we got the uh, Golden Cheese right there. And most likely, Golden Cheese is going to hit our Cranberry this time around. Yep. Uh, but the good thing right there, I believe Stardust was not able to target Cranberry early on. All right, so here it comes, though. This time around, uh, you know, Madeline took the, uh, the, the hit right there. So we're good now. I think we should be okay on this one just again. Uh, the cooldown was a little bit off for them. Uh, you know, level 8 versus level 12 is a big, big difference. So, um, you know, it's, it's definitely going to make a huge difference in the outcome. And I do suggest, you know, if possible, try to use just the regular common jelly launch if you guys don't have a maxed out, you know, epic jelly launch because that percentage is going to make a difference. All right. Uh, but that is a Elite 2 in the Holiday server without even a maxed out treasure. But there you guys go. Crambole again, 8 million damage coming out. And yeah. Um, simple victory right there. All right, guys. So here we go. This time around against a uh, frost comp here with the golden cheese. Uh, sometimes they do have some hardship with frost comp, especially with snow sugar, just because of the constant freeze and frost uh, stacks that are going to be applied. Uh, but let's see how this one works out. All right, here we go. So there you go. We have burnt cheese with the keeper of the gate buff. Uh, seems like this time around, yep, our Cranberry was the one to take the, uh, you know, shot right there. So hopefully our Snapdragon could heal it all back up uh, in time. All right, we do have the Keeper of the uh, Gate buff, which allowed, uh, you know, our Cranberry to survive the uh, Frost stack or the freeze from Frost Queen. Here we go, our last one here. Can Cranberry finish it off here? And there we go. That was really, really close as well, but that, you know, protection from, you know, our burn cheese, really, really strong right there, guys. And then once we do get that max stack, 14 million damage coming out from our Cran All right, so definitely a strong team, uh, and it is going to be, you know, I would say a viable comp, uh, especially for the viewers uh, that, you know, just has a really weak, you know, parfait or you know, a very squishy parfait or just don't have the toppings to kind of fulfill, uh, you know, that role of parfait surviving and then constantly putting that healing and the debuff immunity. But there you guys go, a comp that you guys can definitely try out. Thanks, uh, Mimits, for sharing this comp with, uh, you know, the viewers in the comment section and for me to make a video on it as well. Uh, definitely seems like a viable option for anybody, again, having that hard time with parfait. Um, even I have sometimes a hard time with parfait, especially when parfait just you know, is not able to survive the out, uh, incoming damage by like Golden Cheese and, you know, Frost Queen and even Black Pearl. Sometimes that triple DPS, it can be a pain. Uh, but with this comp, you know, we have two debuff, uh, debuff immunities as well as, you know, triple tank, double damage focus, soaking up the damage for Crème Brûlée. And of course, you know, if your Crème Brûlée is higher promotion slash ascension, then you're just gonna, definitely going to have a higher chance of winning survivability and the damage as well so hopefully you guys can try it out guys uh if mimis you get you see the video and you have a different topping setting and you are able to share it with the viewers then please uh feel welcome to you know just uh share it with us if you got if you would like to in the comment section thanks for watching guys hope you guys found the video helpful and i'll see you guys all on the next one